everybody, Miss Amanda here. I got my goggles on because I'm sweaty. Can you hear the underwater sound? Today we are going to dive into our imaginations with our very own Aquarium! Isn't this neat? I haven't named my fish yet, but maybe you guys can help me name them. So, when I was a kid, I always wanted a pet, but I was too small and I was too little to take care of a pet. So I used all my stuffed animals and pretended that they were pets, which having an imagination is the best thing that you could ever do. So today we are going to use our imaginations and make our very own aquarium and then you can have your own pets. And you don't have to worry about feeding them. So, if you call us up at the Wilmington Public Library, you will get a box just like this. And in the box will come three pipe cleaners, two fish, a light blue or a dark blue little paint, A bag of shells and rocks with two eyeballs in it, too. And the eyeballs, you don't have to glue. You just have to peel the sticker off. And you will get bubble wrap. Because I think bubble wrap makes the background just a little bit more realistic. You see? All the bubbles. So, do you guys have any suggestions on who are, if they should be girlfish or boyfish or any names? I would love for you guys to comment below and let me know what I can name my fish. So, like I always say, we have to use hot glue today. So you have to do this with a parent. And it's very awesome to do crafts with your parents because you could do all the painting and the setting up and then they could do the gluing. So what we're going to start off with first is you want to paint your bubble wrap. I did a light blue on this one and I'm doing a dark blue on this one. Dip your paintbrush in, and then you just start painting. Painting takes a while. Speaking of fish, have any of you ever read the book Fish Out of Water? Well, Fish Out of Water used to be my favorite book. It's about this boy who goes to a pet store and buys a fish. And the pet store owner gives the boy specific instructions on how to take care of fish. But out of his love for the fish, the little boy, he does not listen to the rules. And the fish gets bigger and bigger. It's such an, a great story. You guys should call up at the Wilmington Public Library and ask if we have the book Fish Out of Water. You won't regret it. Also, another favorite fish book of mine is One Fish, Two Fish, Red Fish, Blue Fish. I love books that rhyme. 
Do you guys like books that rhyme? I'm getting the line. We're kind of alike. We're like the so alike in so many ways. Well, that's how friends are. So I'm almost done. Oh, another good fish book is Rainbow Fish. You could do so many crafts to that book. Are you guys thinking of names for my orange fish and my yellow fish? If you guys come up with names, I really will name them that. All right. We have our bubble wrap painted. And now we want to glue on the bubble wrap. Remember, ask for help. You can always use Elmer's glue too. It just takes a little longer to dry. We're using hot glue because it dries faster. You should really let your glue dry on the bubble wrap first, but I'm going to be very careful so I can show you guys. Then, you just put it in the box. And get all messy. See, this is why we wait for the glue to dry in the bubble wrap, because look at Miss Amanda's hands. Luckily, I got tissue paper here. But you guys at home, you wait for your bubble wrap to dry first and then glue it on, okay? Now, we are going to paint the bottom and the sides. And you could kind of flick your brush around to make it look wavy. Water is not perfect. So your painting does not have to be perfect. Want to make sure you get everything. gonna do and when you guys are done making your uh, aquariums I would love to see some pictures the Wilmington Public Library would love to see all your arts and crafts what is everybody's favorite fish I'm kind of afraid of the ocean it's just so dark and we don't know anything about it and I bet we have some great ocean books at the library, too. Has anybody ever got a really big shell and blue in the conch shell before? It's super fun. And if you put a shell up to your ear, you can hear the ocean. Wow, would you look at that? All painted. Now, 
now what I would like to do is show you guys how to cut your pipe cleaners. In this one, I have yellow and green. So I have some green over here and some green over here and then yellow and then yellow. You can cut them however that you'd like. But we fold it like so and we cut down the middle. Then we fold it again like it. And then I want to make this one like little and then this one long so they're not all matching. I'm gonna do it like this. You can make some longer some smaller. I'll show you the different sizes. All different sizes of seaweed. And we're going to cut this one. Okay, we got our seaweed cut. Now we're going to take our fish and find our eyeballs in the bag. Just going to jump this out like so. Oop, found my eyeballs. I just don't know what to name my fish. All right, you're going to put an eyeball right in the front because our fish need to see. And you can make them going different ways. You can make them going the same way. It's whatever you want to do. All right, can't get the sticker off this eye. My um, fingernail is. We're just gonna glue this eye because I can't get it off. I made them going opposite directions in here. I'll make them going the same direction in this one. So we put glue on the back of our fish. And we set it in like so. Ta-da! And now, to glue these on, you want to bend a little bit at the end to put glue on it. You want to bend it like that. You want to bend all the pipe cleaners just like this and put glue on them. And then make them all different, like seaweed. I also think that, um, Swimming is one of my favorite things that I've ever done. I did go swimming in a really big lake. I have been to the ocean, but I've never been in the ocean. Well, on a boat I was. 
Have any of you ever swam with dolphins before? That's amazing. I would love to hear all your ocean stories. I like sea turtles. I think that they are adorable. The seaweed is takes takes a long time. I'll show you what I have so far. I didn't put all my seaweed on yet. But this is what we have. Maybe I'll put one of my shells right in the middle. And then what you guys could do is you can rearrange your stones however you want. And then have mommy or daddy glue them for you. Ms. Amanda is making a mess with the hot glue. Oh, that's right. You want to paint your base too. And if you want to get really creative on your own, you can always add little lights to it. We could pretend that we're going on an adventure with some mystical, magical sea divers and we're looking for the treasure of old sunken pirate ships. You could do whatever you want to with your aquarium. Just don't get stuck in Davy Jones's locker. There we go. I painted my base. Now, these are the stones that you will get in your bag. You got some regular stones and some dragon glass. You kind of just put them anywhere. I got another shell to put down too. Can I add another glue stick? This is going to be so fun. You can have it in your room. You can keep your fishy friends anywhere. And ta-da! We got ourselves
an aquarium. Two aquariums. Oh man, this means I have four fish to name. So you guys better tell Miss Amanda down below in the comments what names we should name the fish. And then I'll display them in the library. And then you could come in and say, Hi Bert. Hi Nancy. What books are you reading today? And they're not Bert and Nancy, but um, maybe they will be Bert and Nancy. I don't know. But that's all for today. So call us up at the Wilmington Public Library and get your aquarium craft today. Also, maybe get some books about fish, like a fish out of water, or one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish, and uh, the rainbow fish. I miss you guys, and I'm so glad that you came to join the craft video today. How do we say goodbye in sign language? That's right. Bye.